what do Chinese women find attractive? Hey, little winners, it's Laudy6 here with another video. I'm pretty hot, right? I'm a sexy guy. Am I your type? No. <laughs> Well, <laughs> now it is. <laughs> let's not be selfish about this, okay? Mm. Let's give some advice to people out there, okay? Not only advice, oh. but we're gonna cover some scientific stuff mm. about attractiveness. Because I was reading this article the other day, and it was put out by Psychology Today. I'm really into psychology, right? They kind of delve into all these different experiments and stuff mm -hmm. to find out all different things, like why people get depressed, why people. Uh, you know, move to certain places, why people like certain types of music. And there was a really cool study that they did with 60 uh, heterosexual females and 60 heterosexual males to see what they found attractive. And they came up with these pinpoint things. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say which traits that these women found attractive and you're gonna tell me if this pertains to Chinese girls, mm -hmm. right? Now you're a Chinese woman. Yeah. This is gonna be horrifically generalized. Uh -huh. I do not want to see in the comments section down below people saying, but everybody's special and different. We are all snowflakes, <laughs> right? No, we are going to generalize everything today, mm -hmm. right? You are in general, a Chinese woman. The DNA test didn't say that, but that's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So in general, what do you find attractive in a man? If you just had to say some really simple stuff. Tall, mm -hmm. handsome. Mm -hmm. uh, I got those, right? Right? Okay, so uh, my perspective of a, a perspective of a perfect man is like skinny, tall, and then uh, kind of manly, and then have a really gorgeous face. <laughs> Technically, people said that. So you that like tall. women? No. Oh. Look at those like a uh, uh, Korean pop and also uh, what's it called? Okay, that's back then. Okay. So why'd you marry a white guy? To be fair, those Korean K-pop boys are whiter than me. No, seriously, I just used this uh, Swatches app. I'm not even joking, I am rosebud red. And this, uh, this little guy over here, this K-pop star, he was Pearl Bush, which is a white hue. Proof. <laughs> those are translucent <laughs> bastards, aren't I they? wouldn't care about skin that much. I would okay. care about the whole package. Gotcha. And uh, yeah. Yeah, actually my idea is just like they have to be skinny but manly strong in the same time. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, the first thing is that women like men in their league, believe it or not. So men that are about the same level as them in society. Maybe in confidence level, maybe in wealth level, maybe in education level. Do you find that true for Chinese women? About wealth, women always want the higher league. Mm. <laughs> That's for sure. That's the higher the Absolutely. better. Absolutely, yeah, of course. So if you're that, like... That's why in the society, if you try to get married, like the reasons that society, they were saying like, do you have car? Do you have house? It doesn't mean, uh, do you have a really nice job? It doesn't necessarily mean the woman have all this. <laughs> so is that the same Lee? Another thing that they found mm -hmm. is that, and this sucks for me. Mm -hmm. Another thing they found was women are more attracted to older men. It's just true, it's science. Is that true in China? Uh, not necessary, but also need to tie back up to like um, the the social uh, status. Mm. If you are rich and even the same age, a lot of ki a lot of women they also are willing to marry the same age or even like one or two years younger because just because it of the wealth doesn't level. yeah it doesn't matter gotcha. yeah yeah but uh if you also delete all those right of course you want an older man like well know the world and show you around taking good care of you i think particularly in china that's true because if you think about it men in china mm -hmm. they don't become mature in society until much later than most westerners i think because in you general, live with your parents i think in general men are less mature than women in, in general for yeah. sure i'm just saying in china you live with your parents until mm -hmm. you get married they mm -hmm. support you financially okay the next thing apparently and this also sucks for me <laughs> is that women prefer men with a light beard not a heavy beard that's a turn off a light beard like stubble on their face which i never grow i can but i don't it makes me look dirty I don't think that's a big thing in, in China, China. Most, especially most southern grow. China that don't really right. because first of all southern China men is not hairy. like hairy type right. so we used to when you go on the street the majority of the men is 
clean shape.、Mm. So it, it's not the first priority. So that's totally depends on do you like facial hair or not. Gotcha. Next thing is that women in general prefer a man who is average built, meaning he's not fat, he's not skinny, right?、Mm -hmm. And he is muscular, but not too muscular. Yeah, that's the perfect type I want. <laughs> I thought you like skinny little boys with no muscle. I want have a muscle. Meanwhile, he's skinny. It's not. He's got skin. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's skinny. I、mm. mean, like I want the perfect shape. That's it. I don't want a frock builder kind, like look like a frog. Is that、like、what you guys call them, like muscle dummies, frogs? Because <laughs> <laughs> we learned some new Chinese slang today. <laughs> no, Would you say that、right. my muscles are adequate? Uh, uh, let's get to the next <laughs> part. <laughs> the next thing is that a man looks kind, has an honest face. So women were kind of repelled by evil-looking dominant types, which I thought was interesting,、uh, like a kind, honest face. I mean, usually the kind,、uh, honest face is like when the woman don't want to search for any threat and anymore. So it's、They're、safer. Sick and tired of it, so probably they would choose that. But when they still have the hunger, of course, like the majority of girl kind of slightly have a fantasy about the bad boys. I actually think that Chinese girls are less apt to choose the bad boy. They like safety more, and I'm not saying that's an attractive thing.、Mm -hmm. They're probably more attractive to the bad boys,、mm -hmm. attracted to them. But in general, the person they want to settle down with, or the person they want to date, they don't want to be threatened. Yeah, by, you know. It's like also we have a phrase, 不以结婚为前提的恋爱是耍流氓 which means if you not use the marriage as a priority to having a relationship, that's just like everything is bullcrap. It's, It,、yeah. it's not a waste. It's just like. You were messing around, right? So,、gotcha. uh, of course, if use it that type, yes, gotcha. You'll find a safety man, gotcha. Safe man to do it. Weirdly enough, psychologically, they found that women like men that wear red. Would you agree with that?、No. It's like Chinese New Year when you have to wear the red underwear. I, that's not related. Still, no. You don't like it. No. So I shouldn't wear red. When did you wear? Red? So if you want a Chinese girl, don't wear red clothes, even I, though that's the luckiest color in China. Why? Isn't I that your favorite color? No. Oh、liked. my gosh! <laughs> It's almost our anniversary. Six or seven years. You still don't, you don't know my know favorite color. Huh? See, I flipped that. <laughs> Next is men who are mindful, and that means that men who don't overreact, men who are not super emotional, men that, that know how to rein that in、mm. and be mindful of stuff. Yeah. You that. In general, means you are manly enough to deal with everything、mm. and let your woman to, you know, have a safety bubble. Gotcha. That's like, so don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. So that's what that's what man made of. <laughs> right. Next one is own a dog. Apparently, men who own dogs and walk dogs are more attractive than men that don't, and it shows like a nurturing, caretaking thing. Uh, I guess that's a. But having a dog, it's. A really cute puppy. It's you know that's a special trick that you can walk the little cute puppy、sure. and get girls. I've seen like those lame guys that watch those like pickup artist things.、Uh -huh. They have like a cute little dog and、yeah. girls like,、oh. and like see, check it out. Yeah,、you、get laid. Yeah, but I think the most attractive person, <laughs> the thing, the the the. Uh, subject is actually <laughs> the puppy, not the man. So in China, that wouldn't help as much as it does in the West. Not necessarily. Probably psychologically、mm. have a little bit, but、yeah. I don't know. Now, one of the most important things in amongst Western women was that they they can laugh. You're humorous. The guy's humorous.、Mm -hmm. um, I'm just I'm not going to interject here. I just want to say I think in China that's less important than in the West. Like I've seen a lot of really boring, dull guys with like pretty girls, just because、true. they have stability. Yeah, yeah, that that's true. But to me, like, okay, th that also like it's not we're saying like not generals everything,、mm. but still that split big difference. Sure. Some girls say they prefer to have like a fun. Relationship,、mm -hmm. but usually, like my parents said, fun relationship not gonna get you to anywhere.、Right. So all you want to do is、uh, have is a solid man that like、uh, taking everything serious, taking care of your、gotcha. rest of your life. Right. Whereas like in the West, a guy that can crack you up and make you feel good、yeah. is a little more important. So、uh, it's a more stable society. Also, like when I break up with 
my ex. And meantime, I was saying like, oh, he's like, I want to give an excuse that ah, he's to too boring. Then people are saying like, boring is okay. It's right, not, right. Good point. Like, you are not one cracking up every single day. That's life. You want to cry every day <laughs> because you're so bored. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So those are all the, the main points that I wanted to cover. Some of them pertain to Chinese women in general, some of them don't, mm -hmm. right? And I hope you guys enjoyed that. If there was one piece of advice you could give everyone out there, if they're uh, romantically involved or pursuing a Chinese woman, what would you say? <laughs> Not to be yourself. Don't be no. yourself. Get rich. No, my suggestion is like, if, just if that's a right woman for you, just yourself yeah and as we always say we, we say this all the time don't choose someone based on their race that's yeah. a huge mistake yeah. you're walking into it's, a death trap it is it just is. pick who you like mm -hmm. be, be yourself Let's mm -hmm. be don't snack around well, yeah. well that's a we might dip around in though. the same time i mean <laughs> fair enough yeah cool well anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did don't forget there's a lot more stuff you can watch on patreon.com slash lower to six also, don't forget that every single Wednesday at 1 p.m. EST, you can watch another one of these. Right down here, you can click another one, watch another Loudy 6 video. Over here, you can watch ADV China, and that's every Wednesday at 1 p.m. EST. And right below that, you can watch Serpents at a Just in Time for a Beer every Friday at 1 p.m. EST. And perhaps most importantly, please go over to our live channel. We cover current events, like things that's happening in Hong Kong, all that good juicy stuff. Our live show every other Thursday, and that's youtube.com slash ADV podcast. Click right here in the middle to watch one of our episodes. Thank you so much, Lawiners, and I'll catch you on the next one.